Hey, give a fellow a nickel. Hey, Leviticus Cornwall's train cover is still at large. Well, how's it been you? Nothing, driver. Business has been steady. Ain't nobody got a heart. Another death today. Saw blade come loose. Fixed itself. In Real hungry here. Ain't the first time. <clears throat> mister? Hi, mister. Can I get a few Hello? cents? Mm, do come in. Now, let's have a look. I'm looking forward to testing this out. Stranger. Gentlemen. Partner. Howdy. Hello, mister. Okay there? That all? I need a wash. You got a bath? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Sounds good, yeah. Thanks. Sit back and relax, hon. I'll be out of your hair in no time. You let me know if you need anything, all right? You must get some bad men in here. That's how it goes around here. <sighs> you gotta treat yourself sometimes, I reckon. Yes, I know. So how's it going? Yes, yeah, not too bad. I think that should do it. It was nice getting to know you. <laughs> yep, the sheriff keeps a tight rein on this place, but at least he could let the moon shine in. <laughs> Thanks, partner. Heard they found a man hanged himself in his room. Mister? At the Hi, folks. Howdy. Hello, sir. I knew you'd be back. Got everything you need. Have a look. All right, then, let's have a look. Much appreciated. Lightens my load. must be tough for you. Hello? Mm. 
Mister. Hey, mister. Partner? Ah, I remember that face. My medicine's been keeping you healthy, I trust. Have a look. Let's just see what you got. Hmm. Thanks, mister. You know a good place? Get some food? Sorry. Don't know. Our very own Avenging Angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. Nasty individual. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland hey Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear, married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder. That kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. Well, if they're in New Hanover, I'll find them. Read the fine print. We want that one with color in their cheeks. We got enough crap around here from the livestock. Someone's gonna help a fella out. Somebody, please. My cousin got arrested for shooting some fella who was trespassing on his land. Hello, sir. I'll be. Hello. I got real bad nerves. I can't work. Can you give me some money? That's Leviticus cool, Cornwalls, train robbers, still at large. Hey, partner. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll boys. I made it right with you, I swear. Well, then, what you staring at? I guess Move you along. forgot about the interest. <clears throat> Just wondering what you boys are up to, that's all. Move along, we'll we'll get you next. <laughs> oh. Looks like you need a lesson. <clears throat> Looking forward to the funeral. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Okay, girl. Let's go, girl. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough. 
to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Simpleton out of the asylum. Well, then. Hey, now that ain't right. What's your problem? All right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> your poison I'll have uh, whatever you like down the hatch hey you're the fella that fought Tommy ain't you oh, man that was some fight you boys slugged it out fair and square now, <laughs> except maybe him throwing you through the window like he did <laughs> I don't know if you've seen him since, but he ain't all there. Like the lamp's lit, but there's no one home. <laughs> but like I said, you fall fair. That's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, cheers to you, mister. I, I'll leave you to your drink. Hey, mister. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. I guess ignorance really is bliss. Just give me a drink, quick. Got to keep that whistle wet, huh? Same again? Give me something to drink, anything. You come far today? Sure looks like it. There's something for you. I think this will do. Okay, then. Welcome back. 
Good morning, mister. Come again. Sure. Come on, ladies. This sirloin will put a smile on your man's face. Guaranteed. Morning, partner. Wasting my time. Morning, friend. Folks, morning, morning friend. Mister. Hello, sir. Welcome back. Let's just see what you got. That feller who got jumped in the hotel? Apparently, it was some girl's pimp. Thanks for your assistance. Let's go, girl. Morning, you. Drops are due for a bad year. Uh huh. Come on, girl. Yep. Hi. Look out! Ah! Damn it. Yeah.
Show kindness on a man with no sight. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. Your whole life has been one of regret, but it can end better than it began. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. years ago, the great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness to found a great place of safety. A place, place of safety. That is where we are heading, Jamie. Yes, Jamie, that is where we are heading. 
Yes, Jamie, we are heading to paradise. It's in the mountains. It sounds wonderful. It is wonderful, Jamie. Really wonderful. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! Then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live. 
live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well... Um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us.
She must be waiting inside. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Mister? You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Make it quick hey, or I friend. might run off again. All right, stranger. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like luckiest man alive and I feel like a fool that woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more but somehow I imagine I shall Benedict Albright was cursing you till his last. Gentlemen. Hey. Evening. Sheriff. You're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Keeping all us decent folks safe. Bye. Hey, I gotta be somewhere. Why are you doing this to me? What's your problem?
Stop right where you are. Yeah. Easy. You must Just looking to pass through. Away, That's it. You nosy idiot. Hey, jackass! You need to leave. Son of a bitch! There, girl. I think you've overstayed you welcome. Oh. Calm down. All right, I've had enough. Oh, 
Come on, girl.
Easy, whoa. You kill your sweetheart. Where do they get such nonsense? You're my sweetheart. Now come over here. Come here. Willie weren't my sweetheart. He was a bully, okay? And he got what was coming. Now, do you want to come over here and romance me? It says there's other fellers. It says right there in black and white. Y'all talking about Frank and Henry. And Howie. I just had bad luck with my men folk is all. Bad luck? Until I met you. Oh. You turned my life around. Oh, you're a conundrum, Missy. Mm -hmm. A real conundrum. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! Ellie, I'm sorry, but I... I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the fella. What kind of man are you? Puny. Backstabbing. All you men are. You are a piece of work. Now, come in. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. So, what do you got for me? Don't you manhandle me! Fun starts. Oh. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. <laughs> okay, girl. Oh, dear. What well, came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good. Be quiet with that. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I've done bad things, but a jail, a jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please, save me. This the help you're looking for? You're such a strong man. 
so tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big, strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? Easy, girl. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your guts. Gutless bounty hunting. I ain't falling for it. Good girl. jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. So, how are you? You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? Now, I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. 
So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You see, Sheriff, I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria? Don't you dare mention Moira again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> Valentine. Morning. Let's go, girl. Means nothing to me. Morning to you. What do you want? This is private. Get along. Go up now. Yeah. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> there he is. Mr. Strauss. Or Tilly. Morning, Tilly. Good morning, Arthur. Are you okay, Miss Karen? Dandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. So. Who ain't? The boys around here. They act tough. They're good boys, mostly. 
It's the most thing I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. We'll be fine. We're one of us now. Hi, Karen. Morning, Arthur. You look well. Thank you, Arthur. This air must be doing you good. All right, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Many good thanks, morning, Mr. Arthur. Morgan. I'll do my best. Thank you. We'll be all right. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah, goodbye. and find us some money or find us some goddamn food. Hosea, Dutch and you says we're supposed to keep a low profile. Are you an imbecile or are you just pretending? Go rob a house. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Ask some sheriff about a bounty. Shoot a godforsaken animal. I don't care. Do something. Tell him, Arthur. Do what Hosea says. Screw you, Morgan. God. You okay? Hello? <clears throat> Morning. Hello. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? <sighs> Perhaps. I'm so worried. Hello, Abigail. Hi, Reverend. Hey there. Why don't you sit instead of cluttering the place up? My fault, Jack. You all right? You okay? Yep. Hey there, Jack. I'm hungry this morning. Everything all right? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Just making sure. All right then, Arthur. All right, enough sitting around. And then, and then the boat comes down with the plague. And men are dying like it's a race. The parson, he can't keep up with the funerals. We're burying them too. Three out of two, and it? there's 50 sharks chasing the boat just to feast on the corpses. This is a picnic. Tough. That ain't tough. See, sharks. That's a holiday. Tough as arriving in a new city. Both your parents newly dead. No one looking after you except some scumbags you meet on the street. Folks starving, people desperate. <sighs> How old were you? Nine. Nine years old, I've been living on my wits. <laughs> Chance to see that, well, that'd be a joy. Yeah, I'll tell you, sharks 
are nothing compared to human beings. Now, maybe you're right. I guess all life is brutal in its own way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's all just a miserable waste of time. Appalling. Dreadful. You know, maybe that's the point. Hi, Dad. No more desperate, Strauss. It's in a debtor's nature. Less desperate then. <coughs> Uncle. Oh. Hi, Arthur. Uncle's drinking again, and the sky's blue. I'm just taking a break. Well, I reckon break's over. Uh -huh. Oh, John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, Miss Grimshaw. All right, well, I should be getting on. We'll see you later. You girls think you have beautiful hearts. Really, you do. I don't know about that. But we care about you. You seem very sad. My life took a turn for the worse when I took up with morphine and opium. I was told it would alleviate my suffering, and in many ways, they were correct. It made all my previous suffering just seem ridiculous. Now I had real suffering, and I lost everything. My vocation, my faith, my family. And but for Dutch and you poor people, I would have lost my life long ago. Um, I'm sorry about that. So am I. And yet I know in a few days I'll be back at it. Searching for I don't know what in that stuff. <laughs> I've been such a fool. <laughs> Tell her, Arthur. Tell her what a fool I've been. We're all fools, Reverend. Don't give up. I'm just... Not strong enough. I think you are. So, Mr. Morgan, whatever did happen with that Mary Gillis? Uh, it all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm, that's for the best. Sure, of course. I never did like her very much. There she is, the Camp Shire horse. Oh, don't stop this nonsense. Hello, Tilly. Hi. You seem a bit happier. A bit, yeah. I'm glad. All right. <laughs> 